Now to the SP Awards, the top NBA stars, LeBron James, Car Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, and Dwayne Wade, all taking the stage at the top of the show, issuing a big challenge to go beyond the game and act to end violence. And ABC's TJ Holmes was there for it all in Los Angeles. TJ, what an incredible night. Uh, it's not what anybody expected, Robach, not even the ESPN producers of the show originally. This wasn't the plan, but what we saw last night on the biggest night in sports was four NBA superstars take the stage standing side by side and calling out their fellow athletes for not saying enough and doing enough when it comes to gun violence and race in this country. A night to celebrate great athletes started instead with LeBron James issuing a direct challenge to them. It's time to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, what are we doing to create change? LeBron, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade seized the ESPY stage to address the recent rash of gun violence and heightened racial tension in the country. The endless gun violence in places like Chicago, Dallas, not to mention Orlando, it has to stop enough. Let's use this moment as a call to action for all professional athletes. Wade later told me they came up with the idea to do this themselves, then asked and got the OK from ESPN. So we said, listen, we have to do something. Um, we have a platform, you know, what can we do? And perfect time and ESPYs is coming up. So, you know, we all wrote our own piece of what we wanted to say. Um, and we wanted our voice to be heard. You guys ready to have some fun? The show soon after turned to celebration. LeBron didn't get to sit much. He won three individual awards, including Best Male Athlete. Vice President Joe Biden was there, too. He presented the Jimmy V. Perseverance Award to Craig Sager. He teaches us how to live with perseverance and passion, fearless, hopeful, together. The longtime NBA sideline reporter who's been battling leukemia. I will never give up, and I will never give in. I will continue to keep fighting. Sager was mobbed by his TNT colleagues after his speech. Wherever you're from, whatever you think, whatever your politics are, what you can't forget is that every one of those people who dies has a story. This is one of them. One honoree couldn't be there, Xavion Dobson, the 15-year-old shot and killed in December when he tried to shield three girls from bullets. His mother and two brothers accepted the Arthur Ashe Courage Award on his behalf. I urge you to think tonight about why he died and what you can do tomorrow to prevent the next innocent young man or woman from being lost as well. A celebratory night that struck a serious, even somber tone at times with this lasting message. We all have to do better. And of course, the ESPYs, as always, were a celebration last night, a celebration of great athletes. But guys, I have to tell you, it's what everybody was talking about last night, that moment at the top, and it was a different type of tone to the evening. And even LeBron James said last night, guys, on a night that we're honoring Muhammad Ali, we do a disservice to his legacy if we don't speak up more. Mm -hmm. TJ Holmes, thank you so much. Boy, and that hero, Xavier Dobson, what a story. What a selfless, selfless act. That should be celebrated. It certainly was last night, and hopefully mm -hmm. it will continue to be so.